Yo, child, I hope you've all seen the trending video of Bakao Sangonga, the Equatorial Guinea Minister who was investigated for embezzling government fund worth a billion dollars. Now, according to the investigation, they raided his house to confiscate some of the electronic devices that belonged to him, talking of his laptops, his, com his computer, his, um, how do you call it, his tablets, phones, and other items to, to conduct investigation. Now, per report, they stumbled upon a file that contains videos of this man and other women doing the do. Now, according to the speculations out there, they are saying that some of these women are wives of the notable people or the government officials in Equatorial Guinea. And we have some of the lists right here. We'll be looking at it. But then if you're new to this channel, kindly like, subscribe and don't forget to put the bell on post notification. We've seen the numerous videos out there with his co-workers and a lot of people, some of them outside, some of them in the offices, in the bathroom, in in in, in his bedroom, in hotels. Actually, it's is is that crazy over 400 videos. Okay, if you haven't seen any, we don't do that here, but you can go, it's on the internet, it's all over the place. You can go on Twitter, you can go on Telegram, and you can watch some of the videos because this man here is a Johnny Saints of our time. I'm telling ya, I'm telling you. We have some of the list there, let's go through it. First is the wife of the director of the presidential security. That is the first person. We also have the wife of the attorney general. Like this man, who they fear law. You know, they fear the people who they make the law. The people who go fit up, you say, hey, you will go to jail for life. The attorney general and wife. If you go take somebody in wife's self, it will be attorney general. Hey, this man, who they fear the law. I swear. We also have the daughter of the president, Gen uh, the, the daughter of the director general of police. Hey. <laughs> This man is tackling the law and the people where they enforce the law, bro. Yeah, you don't fear anything. We also have the wife of many ministers, including Minister Oburu. I think the Minister Oburu is one popular guy because his name has been trending for, for, for the past 24 hours after these videos were, were shared online. We also have his little brother's wife and we also have his uncle pregnant wife. And there are some lists out there which are is also saying that this man ha has also banged, you know, his godfather's wife, his, you know, sister's 15 friends, and a whole lot of lists out there. And it's a very sad thing. So people are calling him the King Solomon of our time. So people are saying that, oh, King Solomon to learn from him. So people are saying that, hey, this is the Johnny Sins. And this, listen, bro, as an African leader, you reflect your people. Whatever, whatever attitude you put out there is what you are trying to tell the world that this is what you represent. You represent the people. So some of the things that you do, you for like your mind for day. You for be very careful. That is why you will barely see presidents or you barely see some ministers doing things that a normal Ghanaian or a normal African or a normal person will do out there. You know, like where, like president's wife, or you will see minister and wife, they wear bikini, they roll outside. It is it, like it be something where you go find difficult, say you go see that thing on the internet or whatever in the public spaces. Why? Because they reflect the people, they reflect the interests of the people. But this time you go there, there, somebody go bring letters say make senior man sign under keke. You know, go do, you go talk, you say he's busy, come back tomorrow, come back like this. Sometimes if you go forget, say you go do something like you go doing work. Because in a chase woman. Hey! Huh. Those people where they hail this guy, calling him the King Solomon of our time, is sad because we people don't know what this guy has done to Africa. Now, Africa will be the mockery to the Western world. They will laugh at us. They will continue to laugh at us because we don't have the brains. The little money we get, we embezzle it and spend it in our own parochial interest. And when issues like this come up and we are supposed to tackle this like some, you know, level-headed people, we don't do it. We feel like, hey, Charlie, this guy, you know, is living our dream and we are supposed to be doing the same thing. Like, if you did that, so, oh, bro, eh, hey, everybody, it's sad, though. Africa, Africa, hmm, Charlie. These are some of the lists I have here, and I think said there is a whole lot more because over 400 people they're jack. I think said this guy has his own agenda. So people are saying said maybe he's trying to spread some STD out there or some kind of deadly disease out there because how to actually motivate someone to take a course like this if you are not evil-minded, if you are not a psychopath. 
tout ça. Dis-moi sur YouTube, moi, si vous avez utilisé ça, quand vous allez subscribe, vous allez mettre le bell pour les notifications. Peace out.